Hello everyone, I'm River Fox and welcome to the channel. And today we're on Grounded and we're going to show you how to make the workbench and what sort of items you will be able to craft from the workbench. So as long as you have analyzed SAP, then you should have the ability to make a workbench. And you will require grass planks, sprigs and SAP which I will show you in a second where to go and get those. But once you have crafted a workbench, you will have two tabs here. You will have workbench gear and workbench tools. And these will evolve and give you additional items that you will be able to craft from them once you, you unlock different parts of the game. Now, there are quite a lot of things in here. There's even still some things which I have not even unlocked yet myself. But you will be able to make things like your armors. There's quite a few different types of armors. You have um, some mite, a mite hat, which will give you hyper stamina. You have the clover armors, they will make you fuller so that when you eat, it will last that much longer. You will get acorn armors, which will increase your overall health. And you will get ant armors, which will give you hauling strength, uh, among other abilities. You do have other ones as well, like spider and ladybird armors as well. But I haven't, I haven't unlocked those ones as yet. I'm still going through on this account. Now, you will also be able to make tools, workbench tools. And you can get things like the insect hammer. You can get the ant club and the lava blade, among others. So there's, there's lots of different things you can do with it. So I'm going to take you through and show you some of the different places that you will be able to get some of the materials that you will need in order to, um, to make your workbench. Now, grass planks are really easy to find. You will find them literally pretty much everywhere in in the uh, the zone now this area down by the pond we don't so much have grass planks here but as soon as you get in towards the um the main sort of garden area then you will find these grass planks and you will get them from your grass stems now don't confuse them with the dry grass stems which are these ones over here you will need to chop down some of these in order to get your grass stems. Now, when you do chuck, uh, chop down the, the grass, you will also get these little bits of plant fiber, and these are extremely useful as well. So make sure you do collect them as well as your grass chunks. Now, depending on what armor you do have on will depend on how many of these grass planks you can actually carry. You can carry quite, you know, quite a few with the ant armor on. Now, some other things we need, uh, we need sprigs as well and sap. Now, sprigs are these little things here. These, again, will be pretty much most places around. And you will always find them where, wherever you are. And you don't generally have to go too far before you will find some. There we go, we got some here. Uh, we got some here, you know, they're, they're these tiny little plantlets that um, that you will see. Now I'm going to leave my planks there just for a minute and we're going to go up for some sap. Now you would generally find sap most of the time around uh, trees and pieces of wood. And if you are over by the, the big oak tree like this, then you'll find quite a few of them. And they're normally sort of stuck on the side of these little branches here. So we come up here and this is a piece of sap. So we've got one piece up here. And if we come down here, now do be mindful of spiders and bugs and everything that will be around as well. But you can sometimes find it on the floor as well. And I've got to go really careful because this is spider territory, but we do have quite a lot of sap on the floor down by this tree as well. So got quite a lot of it there and you'll always find it there. It will respawn pretty, pretty quickly when um, when you're going around. So that is your sap. That is your sprigs. And these are our grass planks down here which is just over by the water this time. I made it over by the water. There they are. 
Okay, let's carry these back before it gets dark. Okay, so we got all of the items. We've got our grass planks and our sprigs and our sap. Now, you will only need three grass planks for this, but if you just kind of go to whatever it is you want to place your workbench and you will go construct you can you can turn it before you place it you can turn it whichever direction that you want to put it i mean there's not really you know much point having two of them in the one um in the one earlier because as long as you've got one then you know that is it so you would just place that down and then you will hold your x to build or whichever button you use for it and that will be your workbench and then you can you can literally just go onto it you can do anything that you wish from it so there we are that is how to make your workbench so i hope you do find this video useful if you do don't forget to hit that like down below smash a subscribe before you go make sure you turn on the notification bell you'll always get updated on my content when it comes out i do stream grounded quite regularly now over on twitch so do, do check that out if you do have some free time come on pop over and uh, join me in one of my live streams and i'll be uh, i'll be glad to uh, have you around but i hope you do enjoy and until the next time hope you have a lovely day and stay safe, my friends.